to do the trying to see if it says the name of that particular puzzle but this is the thomas kincaid studios disney's four jigsaw puzzles in one and this i believe we got this at walmart they do have a few of these sets available with different combinations our next one we're gonna do is mickey and minnie mouse which looks like uh at the chinese theater again you can find these at walmart i've seen them in hobby lobby you can get them on Amazon. You can pretty much get them anywhere. And the Disney stores in Disney Springs, I saw some of these in there as well. So I got here my uh, puzzle piece sorters. You know, you don't need to buy specific puzzle piece sorters. You can use paper bowls, paper plates, paper cups, sheets of paper, anything you could use to just separate pieces. So this box comes with these really nice posters of each of the pictures or each of the puzzle images on them, which is gonna really help. This gives you much better detail. So this is gonna be very useful for our puzzle. Bag that's labeled number four is the Mickey and Minnie at the Chanis Theater. Let's get started. As I sit here editing this video, I remember being at work that day and really looking forward to finally starting another puzzle after a long time of not doing one. And it wasn't because I got tired of them, but you know, sometimes life gets hectic and before you know it, weeks have flown by and you kind of push your needs to the side. And puzzles had become and still are a way for me to decompress and kind of send my mind off to a different place, away from the everyday stresses of life. Which makes me curious, what do you do to kind of, you know, let your mind escape for a while and relax a bit? I can literally sit for hours doing puzzles if I could. How long do you think it took me to complete this puzzle? Let me know in the comments if you've guessed right. I'm gonna reveal at the end of the video how long this actually took me to complete. On a side note, editing videos is quite a challenge. I'm actually new to filming and editing, so I'm open to any suggestions you have. I'd love to learn new tips from everyone and kind of help improve my skills here.
Well, it's been a while since I finished a jigsaw puzzle, um, and I almost forgot how good it felt to finish it. This one took me 5 hours and 22 minutes, not in one sitting, but over a span of 4 days. I usually let my puzzle sit for a couple of days just so that I could admire the image and its completion. And then I'll disassemble it and get ready for the next one. So. I've already decided which one I'm going to do in the next video and I'm really excited about it. So I'll see you then.